Fritz Pollard Alliance is trying to promote more African American head coaches and executives in the NFL. And during Black History Month, a Milwaukee writer and historian explains how Pollard had one big year with the Milwaukee Badgers. He became the first African American head football coach with the Akron uh, Pro Team in 1921. Left there and came to Milwaukee in 1922. Michael Benter wrote the book, The Badgers, Milwaukee's NFL entry of 1922 to 1926, and is well aware of Fritz Pollard's impact along with the NFL Badgers of Milwaukee fame. Very diverse team, probably a forerunner of the way the teams are set up now. Uh, back then, though, however, there, there were very few uh, minorities uh, in, in, in the NFL. In fact, on the Badger team, 1922, there were three African Americans, one uh, Native American who was a co-coach uh, with, with Pollard, Mr. Budge Garrett, and uh, John Alexander, who was Jewish. Still, Pollard needed to be tough to survive racism on the field. He used to do a bicycle kick on the on the ground when he would be tackled to uh, discourage people from piling on or spearing him after he was down. Today, Green Bay survives, but 100 years ago showed this is a football state. There was a team in Kenosha. There was a team in Racine, a pro team. There were actually, at one time, there were four pro teams in, in Wisconsin. It showed that this was a hotbed for professional football even back then. Uh, that was one of the problems with the uh, Badgers' uh, failure to beat the Packers. They played them, I think, 10 times, and the best they could do was they uh, had one tie. Pollard was a pioneer with many firsts, both in football and life. He established cold delivery businesses in Chicago and New York City, a movie studio. He had a newspaper in New York City that uh, was aimed for a African-American audience, the New York Independent News. Um, he established a the first black securities firm in Chicago. It was really a national figure. The Fritz Pollard Alliance is pushing for improvements. This past off season, two of seven open head coaching positions went to minority candidates and three of six open general managers jobs went to black executives. But after the NFL had seven black head coaches in 2012, the fact that there are only three today shows there is much work to be done. Lance Allen, TMJ4 Sports.